Infantile Colic It is characterized by paroxysmal episodes of excessive and unexplained crying or fussiness in an infant less than 5 months of age. These infants are otherwise healthy, well-nourished, and demonstrate good waking. Episodes can be intense and persist for several hours, during which the infant can be inconsolable with persistent crying despite the parent's best efforts to soothe their baby. Hypertonia in the infant can manifest with drawing up of the knees to the chest, stiffening of the legs, arching of the back, clenching of the fists, tensening or distension of the abdomen, facial flushing, and or circumoral pallor. The infant's cry may be noted to be qualitatively different and more distressing than their regular cry in a way that causes their parents to worry. It tends to recur at a similar time each day, more commonly in the late afternoon and evening. Between episodes of colic, a thorough physical examination is normal. Now before making the diagnosis, it is essential to rule out organic conditions such as corneal abrasion, hair tourniquet, trauma, or ear infection. Laboratory and imaging studies are not routinely indicated. A thorough history and physical may provide sufficient reassurance to both the parent and physician that the infant is healthy. The most important aspects of management are parental support and education. Reassure parents that infantile colic is not the result of poor parenting and that most cases resolve by 3-4 to four months of age. It is also important to acknowledge that infantile colic can be frustrating and difficult to cope with. There are a couple of first-line interventions that may prove to be helpful. Some potentially beneficial changes to feeding technique include feeding the infant in an upright position with frequent burping and using a bottle with a collapsible bag to minimize air swallowing. A large variety of soothing techniques can be employed, such as singing to the baby or rubbing their belly. Many other interventions are used in the treatment of infantile colic, but none of which have been definitively proven to be effective. Feelings of anger, impatience, and futility are normal in response to infantile colic, which may leave parents desperate for a means to silence their baby. So it is important to warn the parents that they must never ever smother, slap, or shake their baby. Such actions can have damaging and lasting consequences.